Welcome back to Peglin. Got a lot left of the new update to explore. I mean, there's so many orbs I've yet to build around. Really excited. Just whatever sort of novel build I get, I'll be looking forward to having. New character, Crucible level 2. Terrible shots. It's all par for the course, really. Eh, you need to have the bad shots to get the good shots sometimes. I don't know if that was necessary, though. I probably could have hit a bomb with or without that bad shot. There we go, though. First fight over. Hey, can I actually get Angry Tomahawk to work this time? If I take damage, the Angry Tomahawk is great. Oh, it deals one crit damage now? It must have always dealt one crit damage. I think I had it last time when there was like a minus two, minus two. Oh, I found a forge. How do I keep finding this? I'll gladly take it, though. If I take damage, then my thing that I just took becomes better. I made it to the chest. All right, decoy orb. Enemies don't get their extra turns for my first reload. I think I do want the elite. I bet I could take it. The angry tomahawk will very likely be skipped over unless if the enemies decide to uh, run a train on me. I will say with the new character, it's definitely weird not choosing between uh, relics and chests anymore. It's uh, tough to get used to that that's the, a perk of the regular peglin. The pegular reglin, of course. But you know, I, I, it's all in the name of interesting, diverse characters. Although I have to say, I, I think having the choice between additional orbs and additional relic, it has to be better than this guy, right? I mean, as far as a relic basis goes, yes, of course, it's a slam dunk that choosing more is stronger, but that's not like the only difference between the two. They have a different starting orb. And the sphere is a very, very good starting orb. It's one of the best, it might be the best common starting orb. I mean, it's something I pick very often. So having that does mean nice things for a stable build. But it's also very easy to just simply get sphere. I think I'm also going to upgrade sphere since it's my best orb right now. I'm gonna save my coins for uh, almost a marriage. I want to save them for just getting a new thing. You kind of get a new thing in marriage, in a sense. Oh, ho, ho, ho. offer the stone, upgrade the tomahawk. That doesn't upgrade because of the forger, because I guess it's an orb I already had. But there is no denying that starting with the sphere is truly powerful. And I mean, this bulwark stuff, it does have some good synergies. Funny though, this is the one fight where having the dag orb over the sphere would be better. And I would be dealing only four more damage per crit. That's not terrible. I think the trade-off's well worth it. The tricky part's gonna just be dealing with what comes up. I should have just shot the rock. I should have done it because the next shot could have been my sphere. I was thinking about that. I'm like, what if? But hey, at least I'll probably get to see the angry tomahawk. Yes. All right, good refresh. Ooh, actually still banger damage. So he doesn't hit me this shot. You will hit me next shot. I say that like I want him to. I really don't want him to. Please miss. So now it's a 1-3. I do like that you can actually see the damage numbers. That's, um, bad. My stone is better. So I'll go for that refresh and hope to get him next shot. Let that be bad. It is what it is. How about now? Now it's a 4-6. It's pretty good now. That's going to kill him. Missing 40 HP. I think this is an interesting orb. Uh, now that I'm actually lacking HP, it should be fun. The double edged swarb. When drawn, refreshes the board and deals one self damage per refreshed peg. You know what? I'm gonna lose if I take this, but it's a 510. I wish I could take this now, but never draw it and just save it for later. I mean, I have healing with the restorb. You know what? No balls. I'm gonna take both of them though. I do need some extra healing and I am gonna upgrade this so I can start farming a little max HP. Goodbye to all my coins. There is a shop up ahead that I don't care about anymore. When I heal, deal health as damage. This feels like it would help the build I'm going for. And honestly, immediately the pendant is better, but I'm gonna still go maximum synergy because I think I'm going to be healing and then dealing damage because of lost HP. Duplicate an orb, yes, okay. I need the restorb. I need to get my healing somehow. I'm gonna try to go to the elite down below. We'll see how it pans out. Max HP is wonderful. This build might actually happen. Actually, a couple things. I drew it right away. It's a 7-Eleven, so I'm obviously gonna shoot it now. And also, there's five less self-damage dealt. Yeah, what happens if I draw it on like an empty board? How screwed am I? Like I just lose on the spot and it will be funny, but not as funny as my max HP mount is gonna be. It's not like a funny number or anything. I'm just gonna be laughing and stunting on the enemies. 
have to make sure that I constantly am able to get it off twice per battle. Ooh, I hate that. You know what? I'm going to target this asshole. Did I just discard the one orb I meant to shoot? I thought it was second. It's fine. I'll get it on the next go around. Oh, it actually hits that front enemy. Interesting. Okay, well, if I want maximum damage, hit the back enemy. Farm coins. Ah, crap. Oh, I missed one. Hey, it all comes back beautifully. Funny how that happens. Heal me. Thanks. So, Angry Tomahawk, more of them? Or do I want to take a look at this? Oh, it's just minus five again? Why not upgrade this to minus 10, cowards? Do you want Angry Tomahawk? I kind of want to take a second one. I will go for the Angry Tomahawk tier three just to see how it scales. All right, again, drawn double edged swarm right away. Wonderful. That is pristine luck because it guarantees I won't see it for a long time. Ew, it didn't one shot. Well, doesn't matter because I hit a bomb. Oh, weaponized Envy killed him. Angry Tomahawk's a 3-5. If I get a bomb right here right now, I'll actually get killed on the big man. No, but it's not like I dealt much damage in the first place. You know what? I'll shoot this one still. I don't care if the damage is ass. I can skip the stone, go to the sphere, and end up all right in the end. Just all right, though. Very big emphasis on all right. I don't expect to go anywhere, though. I mean, if he starts whapping at me, then my angry tomahawks become good. What am I scared of? So I almost have to think about this differently because the double-edged swarm is coming up. I think to mitigate his downside, I have to either make sure that I've refreshed recently or that I maximize the amount of time it takes to get to him so I just never end up shooting him. I think I could refresh now. Yeah, there's barely any pegs. I took three damage. That's a great trade-off for being able to... Oh, I thought I would wipe him out. Whoops. Well, I guess I shouldn't have gunned so hard for that crit. Very greedy player for me. I'm not too upset, though. I'll go through it for a tier 3 tomahawk. And again, I'm waiting for anything healing. Obo is pretty nice. So is Persist. Oh, which do I like more? You know, the way Obo is worded, it probably doesn't apply to armor, right? I think Obo is the better play, but I'm going to actually double down on Synergy. I do want to find out if uh, Obo works the way I think it does, though. I mean, it says health. It literally says health right there. Well, and you can't see it. But if you could see it, it would say it right there. And Barwark slash armor is traditionally non-health. This is a great start, though. It's a 2-3. That's literally worse than a stone. How are you worse than a stone? Pathetic. You sicken me. Oh, good. I managed to leave the horns intact. I see that refresh. That's going to be a valuable asset. But if I can skip over both... Then I'm eating good. Well, now I'm just about to win. I actually hope this doesn't kill. I don't know whether I want to kill or not. Well, I have no say in the matter. I miss on two max HP. I think that's fine. Bad news is I'm healing so much, so my angry tomahawks are crap. Well, at least I can upgrade the double edged swarm in the meantime. Cost me a bit of HP. Oh, hey, I got the oboe. But salt shaker, <laughs> never mind. Uh, today is international fuck oboe day. I'm going synergy. We meet again, mole man. I will destroy your tree. And deal weaponized envy damage. I guess I should have taken advantage of that, but now that I'm at full HP, any misplays I may or may not have had do not matter. Thus is written in the misplay clause. If you end up at max HP, no misplay was made. I kind of want self-damage right now. Yeah, but it, the actual damage I'm going to deal is just going to be wasted. Instead, I will try to get rid of that pea shooter which is successful, then at least I can sink damage into the tree. That's a lot of damage loss. But what's nice about Persist is I get to shoot it twice. So it's huge damage number. Its upside is much higher. Yeah, this is a really interesting synergy build. All right, pick, poke your nose here. Oh, I get to draw it twice, which is actually scary because that's more self-damage. Is that really the case? What does that say? Persist means... It's used before the next orb is drawn. I disagree with that interaction. Because, I mean, you're not really drawing a new orb, especially. Like, I, I think you've drawn it once, and then you get to use it twice. I, I, I don't know, man. That feels like a bit of a rip. Especially because it totally shits on my build. Now I'm really just leaving myself wide open to be destroyed. And, well, I don't like that. I want to have some fighting chance. At least the angry tomahawk is sick right now. It's a 9-12. All right, well, that'll bring it home. 
And back to full. So Orbration is an incredible masochistic orb. It deals three damage for every 20 pegs hit. Only issue is that it's a must circle buffer. Yeah, but whatever, you know, sometimes you need a little must circle. Or another angry tomahawk. I could do both, technically. I'll take one. What's fun is that when you upgrade, it does more self damage more frequently. Like this is genuinely messed up, by the way. I've seen what the angry tomahawk is capable of. I think I'll take a third one. I love the gift that keeps on giving when it comes to double-edged swarb. Means there'll probably be fewer pegs to refresh. I don't like it for Orberation. I hate it for the new boss, the dragon. It's pretty much a death sentence, so I'm taking this with caution. Fortunately, I'm off to a pretty bad start. Can this fear get me anywhere? Well, it's not gonna get me into a crit. Well, let's see what happens. Ouch, fucking hell. Four HP, that's just brutal. A little unfair. I'll heal like a man. Well, well, well. I think I'll just save my money. I can always upgrade Angry Tomahawk after the shop. Oh, it's the Peglin Chef. Yeah, I'll take your relic. I need bribes right now. And another chest. More Must Circle. All right, so that's building up. Well, gotta start by shooting a stone. That's a bad sign. Well, at least I get some pretty nice healing. It's just the damn shame of the, uh, whatever it's called, weaponized envy doesn't get used against the uh, shield there. I wanted to take out my envy on the shield instead of the 192 damage. Take a cool refresh. Haven't crit yet this fight. Nah, who needs it though? I mean, I'll one shot. A lot of enemies now. Losing HP a little. Angry Tomahawk is still pretty bad. Even at tier 3. Maybe I can restore my way out of this. Of course I can. Probably should have tried to deal chip damage to someone behind him. I just wasn't sure if I'd get there. Sometimes I'll play it safe. That's what I do. Alright, so am I going to build up my must circle? I mean, Orbration... I don't know. I'm already missing HP. I don't like it. It doesn't have AoE. I think I'll just skip to the AoE. Yeah, even if I want a must circle, I'm getting a crit right now, getting AoE, not getting the refresh, unfortunately. Yeah, but AoE is pretty nuts. Well, I could go for the refresh. Yeah, sometimes it's just wins. I take 14 damage. Let's see. Perfect. Took 14 damage to save. Well, I guess I saved the good amount of damage, right? Because that was always going to kill. So the previous shot was just going to be wasted. So I saved 10 damage. Bully ball. This is a pretty good synergy. I will grab one bully ball and save my upgrade so I can get two relics. 2x damage when my health is low or bouncers. You know what? I'm going to try monster training. You know what else is good when I'm below 25% HP? Angry Tomahawk. What do I got, huh? Not in love. I'll remove some orb. You know, a stone. That's worth a lot to me. I don't really like any of these relics. It's three conditional heals whose conditions I will am very unlikely to meet. And then a conditional must circle that I'm definitely not going to meet. How bad is Orbration? Do I just lose on the spot? No, but it does hurt. This Restorb is a Dolly Parton 9 to 5. Just don't hit crits and we're all good. Refresh is great. I'll take those any day. So I'm missing HP. How good's the Tomahawk? It's ballin'. You know what I need? I need Overwhammer. With all this damn overkill that I'm about to get. It would go to the freaking moon. That'd be a triple kill. It's a 17-14. The Tomahawk grows. Yeah, baby. Ah, oh, crit. Doesn't really matter. <laughs> I'm one shot no matter what. This is gonna hurt. I was really trying to get that refresh. Finally, I can get rid of the ranged goon. Maybe I can just get rid of all of them. Yeah, with two shots, I imagine I will. Let's do Angry Tomahawk to close it out. It's so nice that you see the value of this orb. And I'm scary close to 25% HP. I will get another shop on this floor, but I'll have so much money by the time I make it there. 
Might as well upgrade the last Tomahawk. Do I need to heal? I don't know, then I can't trigger monster training. Yeah, but I might literally die to my own, own orbs. I'll be smart. I mean, that 35 HP could go a long way. Plus one, plus one, or I don't have Bulwark synergy. Plus one, plus one's not bad. Now do me a favor and land at that shop up to the right. Thank you. Okay, good. I got the good one. I can heal up, get a lot of max HP. The other one's way at the bottom. There is no chance of me ever getting that. But at least I have one. Yeah, it's angry Tomahawk season. Even though Stonewood gotten the job done. Oh, another Restorb. I will take this. And try to max it out. Anything good. Immune to attack damage while reloading. Does not matter. I'm secretly trying to get monster training. And you know what? I actually prefer the sphere here. This is a good AoE friendly fight. Seems like exactly what I'd want to do right now. A little overkill. I should definitely try to rush getting to the healing. Too bad I didn't one shot. All right, this guy did not hurt at all. I think actually there's going to be so few pegs refreshed that I don't mind taking the shot right now. The way this board works out, the gift that keeps on giving is pretty good with that. Finish him. Very nice. All right, got money for the shop. Oh, healing. Good. Every time the board is refreshed, I do like refreshing the board. I also like getting rid of stones. That is more important than anything like training weight because I'm not really trying to go must circle. I'm not really dealing that much self damage. It's kind of a, a tomahawk restorb build. Everybody else is just along for the ride. And speaking of restorb, off to a lovely start here. Now I have to say, this battle sucks for me. I have no AoE. What the hell do I even do about that? I, I mean, I got sphere. That's just gonna have to carry me, I guess. Uh, yeah, I didn't really think about that. I kind of keep forgetting that you need AoE to beat the Ballista. Instead, I want the Sphere. Just start whapping on AoE right now. I don't know. I, I could have thought about it. It's tough to say. Like, maybe I should have gone uh, build up Must Circle a bit more than go ham on Sphere. We'll see. But I figure that after this Sphere, I'll get a wonderful shot with Tomahawk. So I'm not too worried. Yeah, because I get rid of that back enemy. So 2120. Better be good. Nailing a bomb would be perfect right now. This is my chance. I doubt I'll get it, but I'll try. Oh, I got it. Huge. All right. Well, this will probably be a killing blow. And it is. Can't believe I haven't dropped below 25% health yet. Another restorb. Yeah, I need more. There's no such thing as too many restorbs. Nice. I guess I can get Bully Ball plus one plus two every time I lose health through self damage spell. I mean, it's okay. So I need anything but the dragon. I was actually really hoping I could get Magnet. Suffering is really good. You know, the relic. At least with the gift that keeps on giving. I mean, that's wonderful. I guess I'll take it. Please, no dragon. Yes. Oh, I got the best one for the gift that keeps on giving. Good, lucky me. Oh, you love to see it. Early restorbs. Love to see this. All right. These refresh positions suck. Like, suck, suck, suck. Never mind. <laughs> Yay. Well, I'll target the back guy. Get a little chip damage at six, and because this is about to be overkill of the century. Unless I hit a bomb. Mm, time for that is done. Well, this thing sucks, but it doesn't matter, because this is going to be the greatest 0 0 shot of all time. It can get stuck there? The fuck? You know what? Bring on the self damage. I'll get back. Yeah, that's nothing. I've seen way worse. I don't think I want Orbration solely because I want to save money for the shop. I think I actually would take it otherwise. I do want the shop though. Well, I can afford two relics if need be. I think I'm good on healing now. Strange Brew is kind of unimpactful. I think I'll just thin a little further. Don't need stone anymore. You know, as if I needed it in the first place. Now there is a downside of just going to the next shop. I get no relics, but I could pick up some sort of AoE orb, maybe. And they're all not worth it to me anyway. The real reason I went is because I want the elite. 
I got it. Well, it's too early for Bully Ball. Double Edge Swarb is pretty good now. This is a fight where I don't think I actually get rid of too many pegs. Like, I'm actually very happy with that refresh. Just keep shooting into the abyss, see what happens. I love to see the back three back restored. I'm feeling a cool 18 max HP gain. Hmm, unless of like kill him or something. Hmm, that'd be kind of bad. Don't do that. Ah, don't kill him. I'm just trying to farm HP here. Gosh. Even the bad shots are kind of good. It's a little scary. Uh-oh. I like where that's going. No, 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 no. I don't think I can stop this. Just too strong for my own good. Well, easiest elite fight of my life. Mental Mantle or Puppet? I want to lose HP, so I'll take Mental Mantle. No, I don't want Fireballs. Even though it loses me more HP, I don't care. If I go to the right... Oh, well, okay. I went to the left chest. The choice is side uh, for me. I think that nothing changes, plus when Orb discards is awesome. I was always going to go down the path of Elite Chest Elite, because that's OP. I was thinking about the shop. But the more I think about it, the more I definitely would not have taken the shop. There's just no way. It's elite chest elite. I mean, I'm getting so many elite relics this uh, match. I love it. Now I have all the time in the world to farm restorbs. There is no way I'm getting rid of this guy before I, I at least get four restorbs launched. Well, this shot's going to stink, so I might as well just let it rip. Well, I did expect to finish him. Did he just knock out his buddy? Go for Restorb. Alright, so I either go into the middle or get a cool refresh. I'm in the middle. Nice. I will get a refresh no matter what with Double Edge Swarb. Yeah, now that I have this much HP, I'm definitely starting to appreciate it. Well, now I'm not going to lose HP. How dare you? I signed up for losing HP and you don't even give that to me. Fine, I'll make sure it's lost myself. Or will I? Because I'm going to one-shot him and then... Alright. Amazing. I can go another Orberation. Yeah. Self-damage. Let's me actually do something I can spend my money, most importantly. Balance? I'll take the balance, but these both suck. Damn it, I want flames. Anything good? Ball Wark? Very unlikely to do much. <laughs> It'll probably deal three damage. Or well, a little bit extra. Hey, I just beat you. You're back already? Oh, and hell yeah, I get my last one. Smoke them. I don't want any of these. I don't even know if I want to heal. There's an extremely rare chance the question mark is a shop. Don't like dungeon die in general, because I mean, most of the time I'm going to have so big numbers that frankly, it's not a good thing. And actually, I'm not sure if bombs are a good thing either, knowing how much damage I can get a peg up to. Whoa, what the hell? It's a new enemy. Moving rocks, what are these giant pegs? Oh, he only takes one damage at a time. Interesting. Well, it seems to be pretty easy to go through him. I mean, he's already half dead. He doesn't even deal damage to me. It's like, I gotta deal the damage to myself. Like, come on, I have to do your job for you? Pick up the slack. <laughs> Weak little bitch. Is he an elite? He is not. Shame. I wish he was an elite. Well, more HP building. I don't think I'll quite make it to 300 by the end of this. But this was a very nice HP farm. Funny Tomhawk. Hopefully it will come in use during the boss fight. I mean, yeah, I'm basically at max HP now, and I'm probably going to heal to max HP. But I want to see the progress of the Tomhawk over the course of the boss fight, you know? It's got to go from zero to hero. The perfect arc. I could try to shoot it twice. You know, I could, I could farm. Never mind, I can't. Oh, it's Poltorbgeist. I will grab the Poltorbgeist. Will I? It's too good. It's just too good. I can't do it. I won't do it. I've seen it too many times against the boss. I don't need to see it anymore. I know it would insta win. I want the tomahawk, damn it. Oh, all right. Orbration time. Definitely going to be doing that a bunch. 
Maybe not too many times, but enough. Honestly, I think twice should be fine. After that, I can chill. Alright, so it's a little self-damage here. Ow. That's fine. Run it. Maybe I'll actually get to activate monster training. Maybe not. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if that doesn't happen. We'll see. Right now, I'm kind of just spreading the love, which maybe isn't the smartest business decision. All right, Tomahawk is 2415. Want to avoid that crit if I can help it. And so far, I can help it. All right, that's the first kill. Not going restored today, just going hardcore tomahawking. 2518. That's a joke. It makes them a joke. What do we have now? 2821? I'm not even aiming. That's how good this thing is. It's gonna, well, it's not gonna wipe it out now, but it is pretty darn close. But frankly, I'm not worried about it. 3024, might as well get a little bit extra beef out of it. No need to refresh. I guess we just missed the refreshing memo this fight. I mean, I got knocked down to half HP, but I kind of cost myself as much HP as they did. Or at least close to. Seems like they're getting a couple extra chip shots now, but it's pretty much over. It's nice to see Angry Tomahawk getting his dues. I had a fun time. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. There is still so much I want to check out. So thank you all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you in the next video. Have a wonderful day and peace.